myself anil kumar kavari and my teammate baskar reddy would like to share the presentation on the failed project which we chosen as the millennium dome project snapshot the millennium dome is one of the me mega structure which built in southeast london greenwich peninsula this mega structure was designed from 1st january 2000 to 31st december 2000 construction and opening of millennium, millennium dome was tremendous and biggest achievement but millennium dome experienced many difficulties in terms of funding and failure to attract visitors this led to financial problems after that this mega structure was sold to another party that converted into sports area introduction millennium dome project was initiated by prime minister of england john major it was the project that was designed to showcase attractions and conduct exhibitions to the public the dome seems to be a combination of several attractions in uh, such as dynamic at edinburgh and orlando up orland and an upcourt center in disney world the millennium dome was opened on time initially it, were, it attracted visitors but eventually the total count of visitors went to went on decrease the project was funded by three mainly three sources sponsors visitors and national lottery the company had encountered several challenges during the operational year the financial issues is one of the major reasons to the failure to attract the visitors to deal with these issues several changes were made by organization for example the chief executive officer the accounting officer and the financial editor of the company was replaced with new ones in uh, the project attracted only 6 million people which is less than the forecasted value as the project failed to meet the predefined project outcome so it was finally sold to the another company and the project was the project was in occupied by uh, occupied 48 acres having the worth of 48 million as per the business plan approximately 12 million people was expected to visit the dome by september 2000 but in reality only 6 million people have visited this location for this for this project they are like lack of vision poor project execution and criticism the millennium lack of vision the millennium dome project was poorly and improperly planned by project team unclear project scope improper project plan and lack of vision transformed the construction dome into sports area the decisions about the business planning and senior management which it has taken by the government was perfectly not uh, not perfect and right and not clear the government was confident about the visitors but it it has it does not consider any risks about associated with the initiation of this biggest uh initiation of this biggest vision poor project execution several revisions in the project plan budget and scope were made in the execution process opening the dome within the estimated time for the public which was the biggest achievement for the project team but increase in the budget following the count of number of visitors are questionable on the other side no fruitful outcomes was generated by the organization despite the timely completion of the project plan of uh, several revisions were made in the project plan of the uh, millennium dome millennium project failed to offer a unique pleasing and attractive experience to visitors which resulted in huge financial losses and loss of ex- existing visitors as well as the, the use of poor quality content and then also have negative impression on the visitors the experience of majority visitors had given a bad uh, negative publicity and loss of visitors some visitors even said that it is a wastage of material space and money of british people according to the political parties the development of millennium dome was fantastic idea but in reality it was a flop coming to the criticism the press initial reaction was very poor due to lack of creativity content and themes many visitors ranked it was a lower uh, lower position in comparison to the other biggest public exhibitions and events continuing about the major problems insufficient op- operational expertise poor product man- marketing approaches poor financial management also the major uh, major issues the inception of operational expertise the operation management organization lacked sufficient ex- experienced operational experts as per the national audit office the great operational experts were required to run the millennium dome and achieve project ob- objectives nmsc did not design any kind of contingency plan about the project uh, poor product management uh, marketing approaches sales and marketing approaches that were utilized by the project team to promote the millennium dome was not effective which resulted in shortfalls of ticket bookings and count of visitors poor financial management the project was mismanaged financially which led to the overspending the project team has was not careful about project spending and planning as a result this was this the project cost has increased throughout the construction and planning of project control system cost control system the construction of millennium dome attracted 3.8 million people it raised several other financial issues for the organization the building of uh, the, the building of millennium dome was completed within the budget 
but due the but the project expense increased over time due to the new project requirements. The NMSC org organization enforces poorly managed and weak financial controls for addressing the financial issues. For ex for example, there is no not any centralized tracking system to manage expenditures according to the project plan. The NMSC uh, NMSC sanctioned 448 million dollars of lottery for operating the operating and construction of million endow. But instead of 448, they received only 179 million million funds from the lottery. The government has involved the experienced consultant to the to make an estimate of, about the business. But it it was it was not confirmed that estimates made by the consultant was right. There was no doubt that contingency plans were designed to manage project budget. It was not properly planned and uh, and estimate and associated and this associated with the estimation of business scope control system. The scope of million dollar project had. Increased dramatically during the project execution stage. The expectation of stakeholders and project scope increased over time. The scope of the million and dome project was increased by the government, and as it did, could increase the total count of visitors. The uncontrolled expansion to the project and project scope, without making appropriate and adequate adjustment to the resource cost, time led to the failure. Of Quality control systems, lack of personality and poor quality of attractions and exhibitions reduced the total number of people visiting to the dome. The lack of creative content and themes in the exhibition was another reason to the quality issues. For the Millennium Dome project, no tool was used for measuring and evaluating the quality of exhibition and attractions. The quality problems and complaints could be could be addressed if NMEC and government would use to check it, ch use check sheet or control charts or other quality techniques. Schedule control systems. The project management was too strong to achieve the project deadline despite several financial issues. Strict time constraints have been imposed on the project to complete the construction work within the um, predict predicted time frame. Despite the completion of the project time, the project stakeholders worked collaboratively to complete the dome construction, construction activities within the allocated time frame and completed within the time. They, because uh, there is there was no a uh, single private business organization ready to accept the project because there are several dis associated with the government established a new private organization named NMEC to execute and manage this project. NMEC has changed the project financial plan several times throughout the project execution. Risks risk there are several risks associated with this project. The risk involved in the project is because their estimates of 12 million visitors were very high. Relevant to poor estimate estimates of visitors were not identified and analyzed properly in the planning stage. No centralized tracking system. The project team of Million Dome did, did not use any centralized tracking system whether the, to analyze that the project, project expenditure was performed as per the plan or not. Changes in the project scope. The expectation of stakeholders and project scope in, increased over time. It was essential for the project team to increase the budget to match changes in the scope. Reasons for failing to attract paying visitors. Use of poor quality content and themes for exhibition and attraction in million Dome. The expectations of the project were very high. Practically, it was not possible to achieve a target of mid to 12 million paying visitors. In the Millennium Dome, various kinds of visitors' attraction were already available in Europe. As a result of this, pattern of growth or decline in the total number of visitors were uneven both intentionally and domestically. The shopping centers and the malls are available in the Dome did not concentrate in leisure experience and could not help to retain impress visitors. Poor marketing strategies also contribute to shortfall in visitors. Lack of operation skills and expertise in the project team to attract visitors. Poor entertainment arrangements for the visitors. Analysis of project execution team. There are teams to analyze this issue. They are Millennium Experience Company Limited, that is NMEC, for construction of Million Dome. The NMEC organization was formed by government in 1997. It managed routine project operations and completing the project within budget and allocated duration. The NMEC was under high pressure because it failed to attract visitors' attraction towards Millennium Dome. The other one is Millennium Commission. It was from government. Government was responsible for the long-term benefits and outcomes of the dome. The main duty of the Millennium Commission was to lottery money as per terms and conditions. Next one was consultant. The government has involved a consultant in planning process to make an estimate of number of visitors for the Millennium Dome. 
next coming to commercial sponsors the commercial sponsors were financial partners who contributed to the project and helped the project team to manage financial risks and uncertainties the department of media culture and sports the secretary of state sports culture and media had the responsibility to advise project stakeholders on the functions organized and the do it had observed that media and advertising stakeholders groups did not attract many techniques and there were no visitors for the dome the stakeholders stakeholders greatly contributed to the project by monitoring the progress of nmec against the five commitments made by the government with regards to the dome these commitments covered effective management national impact content cost and what could happen in the millennium after completion of the exhibition analysis of relationship between overruns and stakeholders none of the private commercial and business firms were ready to take responsibility to complete this project because of several risks associated with the project there was a need of great option experts were required to run the millennium dome and achieve project objectives <clears throat> the consultant had made wrong and very ambitious estimates the government did not consider this with the ambitious visitors estimation and it did not consult any other expert to verify the figure thus the consultant and the government contributed to the financial problems were significant nmec failed to analyze the alignment or gap between project expenses and allocated budget due to unavailability of centralized tracking system further it increased the project cost during the project execution process later on government increased the scope of the project which increased project expenses and financial problems as well the attractiveness and effectiveness of the dome and the count of visitors decreased dramatically because of nmec had used poor quality content and poor marketing strategies were used by nmec which also contributed to shortfall in visitors also the native publicity of the dome by media cut the project benefits and visitors count the analysis of possible actions for success proper management structure the management structure of the project organization should be clear and properly defined through an appropriate management structure the project team can be understand what types of interactions and communication patterns will be followed and who will report to whom further the three motivation techniques and communication style should be defined in management structure to avoid failures the responsibility and answerability of project manager should be straightforward focused and clear the careful project planning and practice assumptions the success of million dome project depends on the satisfaction level and total count of the visitors the project could be succeeded if the project manager consider <coughs> uncertainty relevant to the project income this could be done only with the detail and careful project planning and practical assumptions potential challenges and risk involved in million dome project could be mitigated with proper planning the risk assessment all financial project partners need to execute a risk analysis to detect and discuss financial risk in the planning stage having a detailed risk management plan enables the project team to be proactive and address risk before they arise all project advertisement and financial management visitor management and dome management relevant risk and challenges can be identified early through risk analysis this is the proven best project management practice that could minimize the negative influence of the project risk on the millennium the project could run smoothly if there is more than one plan the contingency planning could help the project team to run prefer plan b when plan a didn't In the case of Millennium Dome project, 
the contingency plan was required due to high risk of project uncertainties. When unexpected situations were not predictable in the early stage, then manager found it too hard to respond to the crisis. In the stage of project planning, contingency plan or crisis plan can be developed to deal with unpredictable arise associated with the project. The financial management. A centralized tracking system could be utilized by the project team to record all project expenditures. This system could help to check whether project expenditure were performed as per the planned expenditure commitments or not. The project's financial position can also be checked easily by the project manager when required using the centralized tracking system. The effective marketing and promotion of Millennium Dome Media and advertising parties could make this project successful if effective marketing strategies can be applied. Discount could be provided on tickets to distract, sorry, to attract more number of visitors. Instead of promoting the negative sides or poor quality of the Millennium Dome, the media companies can focus on positive sides of project as well. Finally, I want to conclude that the analysis and detailed explanation of Millennium Dome project provided a chance to learn major reasons contributing to the failure of the project. These factors involve lack of vision, poor execution of the project, criticism, use of poor marketing approaches, insufficient operational skills, and expertise. The need of appropriate control system has been analyzed from this project analysis task. For achieving quality, cost, time, and scope requirements or constraint, strong controls can be enforced by the organization. Furthermore, the chosen failed project help to understand and learn reasons for the project failure as well as cost runs. The project team learn how to stack solvers and responsible for the success or failure of the project. A clear, careful and detailed project planning and practical assumptions also contributed to the project success. The team also learned about the need of risk analysis, contingency planning, financial management and effective promotion strategies of the construction project from this task. These are the following references which we have used for the project to analyze and make the report of the Millennium Dome project.